Hey, welcome friend. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to install Raspberry Pi OS on Windows 11 using our virtual machine, which is gonna be the virtual box. Those who are very new, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share everything about our video. So let's get started. So what's the Raspberry Pi OS? Raspberry Pi, which used to be Raspbian, is a Debian-based operating system for Raspberry Pi. So basically, Raspberry Pi OS is highly optimized for the Raspberry Pi line of compact single board computer with ARM CPUs. It's run on every Raspberry Pi except the Pico microcontroller. Raspberry Pi OS uses a modified LXDE as its desktop environment with the Openbox Stack Window Manager along with a unique team. In order to install it, we're gonna need some requirements. So in our case, we got Windows 11 installed, VirtualBox installed, we need at least, so between three and four gig up could be good. So in my case, I use three gig and uh, you can have between 16 to 40 gig of the hard drive and also the Raspberry ISO image ready for your installation. So that's what we're gonna do for our example today. So from our Google web browser, we're gonna look for Raspberry Pi OS. So click that link, it's gonna take you straight away to the official website where we're gonna download our downloader. So scroll down, you'll find out exactly what we're looking for. His name is Debian Basta with Raspberry Pi desktop. Click on it and download it to your virtual machine ready for the installation of the Raspberry Pi OS. From our virtual box, we need to create a new image. So basically follow based on our requirement and fill as much as you can. So bear in mind, this is really, is gonna be a Linux, select Linux and once you click on it, you're gonna select order one. So order Linux, so it's gonna be 64 bit. So adjust your memory size as expected. So for this example, I just use uh, three gig for the memory for just uh, to show example and uh, our hard drive I use about 30 gig of our drive once the image is really created what you need to do go to to check exactly what you need to do but in that case everything is ready so you need just to upload your ISO file which you downloaded previously so click on it and OK. So it's ready to fire up your Raspberry Pi OS. So what you need to do now is to start the machine and see the result of your download. Follow the step and you can see the screen. So I'll make it be bigger to make you uh, to, to can see, see clearly what's going on. Let's select the option. And uh, for the language, just select your language. As you say, uh, can, you can see it's uh, really based on Debian Linux. So the installation is going to begin now. And follow the step until the end.
now our machine gonna reboot and uh, we're gonna verify if the installation went as expected so you can see everything is clear the the machine rebooting safely with no error message and bingo we got our raspberry pi desktop so again let's follow up until we are happy about it so just click on it and uh, follow this add your password and uh, make sure that you don't forget your password because otherwise you cannot log in at all so once you put your password and and confirm your password to go to the next one so voila we're almost done uh, the installation went very fine you can see everything is done just click done on it and click done and uh, then you got the option to check uh, all the setup for your Raspberry Pi OS so you can click that, that Raspberry there's gonna be a program there's too many options there's, you can really just go around play around they have fun and uh, the last button is just to click shut down the machine so the programming there's a lot of options there to, to check so that we say uh, don't forget to leave a comment if possible and I'll get back to you meanwhile I will say thank you very much for watching my videos and I hope to see you very soon